Hey guys, I got interrupted. My kids got back from school, some summer lesson rather, and I had to put them in order before coming back online. Um, before coming back to do this video. So, like I said in my in the part one, dreams are basically my Neraya is with her sister now, so no more, no more worries. <laughs> so, guys, like I said, the dream world is where everything happens if you're not being observant about your dreams now some people will say that look you don't dream that's not a true that's not the truth you dream actually you do dream but it, the truth is that it gets wiped out so when you wake up you'll be like hmm, no dreams today yes of course you dream you know why because every single time you lay your head to sleep your spirit man is always busy the spirit does not it does not take rest it's always active. It's always working. So when you say you don't dream, well, you're wrong because you dream, but it's just that your dreams gets, keeps, keeps getting wiped out. And you need to pray about that. You need to pray a prayer that, you know, remind God of his word that talks about him revealing things to you and keeping you on top of everything that happens that will ever happen. He said, if there be a prophet among you, so I will reveal to him the things that are to come, things that are about to happen, things that I want to do. So if you're not dreaming, then you have to pray to, act to reactivate your dream life. Pray about it. Tell God to realign you, to reactivate you, to give you a mind that can remember what you dream. You know, cancel every spirit behind that and so that you can be able to enjoy what's, the things that God is revealing to you. Now, some people will tell you that why are my dreams, all my dreams are always bad dreams. I don't dream good things. Well, it's, it's still like there was a time that every single time, week after week, month after month, I keep having bad dreams. And I, and it was kind of, it, it, it almost seemed frustrating at that, at that period. But the truth is that at a second thought, I'm like, well, this is, these are the revelations of things that are around me and I just have to keep praying about it, you know? So don't feel bad when you keep having constant bad dreams. The only thing that you need to know is that these dreams are just revealing things and you need to take note of them right in fact it's very good because it will help you know what to pray about right so that's just that about that so we're going to be going um to a full teaching biblically i'm going to be showing you examples from the bible where what god does with our dreams so you pray and ask god to activate your dream life and help you to recall your dreams and give you understanding now if you listen to the story of joseph when he wanted to interpret the, the dream of Pharaoh, he said that it is God who gives the understanding and the interpretation of dreams. Now, I've seen so many people come out and they're like, um, I know, uh, um, I mean, they'll be like, um, um, I know how to interpret dreams. I'm a guru in interpreting dreams. I know dreams and interpretation and all that stuff. You have to be careful out there, guys. There are so many, you know, <laughs> wolves in sheep clothing. You know, you have to be extremely careful because once dream, so many people are in trouble today because they misinterpreted their dream. Somebody misinterpreted it to them or they themselves got it wrong. So you have to be extremely careful. When you don't understand, don't force it. Just pray like I told you in the previous video. Do the prayer of agreement and disagreement and then don't worry about any about everything. God is going to make things everything beautiful in its own time, right? So please don't go about looking for who will interpret your dreams to you. Looking for seeking for people to interpret your dreams to you, while you already have everything you know in your arms in order to fix them. So please be careful about that. So the dream world is a typical example of. You know how if, if you can't see visions like some people will literally like ezekiel stayed and he was seeing things you know people have that experience people go through that but not everybody can see that way it, it, it depends on the level or if god really wants you to have that or in the level of you know uh, commitment 
that you have and all that so it all really has to do with growth and all that so you have to be gifted in that in order to be able to see physically but most of all me i personally believe that god has given everybody every single person the good the bad the ugly every single there's no, nobody's ugly anyway everybody's beautiful every single handwork of god is beautiful every single handwork of god is beautiful Yes, his works are beautiful. Everybody's beautiful. So everybody, both the good and the bad, we all have the gift of dreams. Everybody can dream. Everybody can dream. Maybe maybe people, maybe everybody can interpret, but everybody, everybody literally dream because we are all spirits. We are only legal on this earth because of this physical body of ours. All right? So guys, the dream world is a very important place. Please take note of your dreams. Please be careful. If you're not dreaming, like some people say, I'm not dreaming, please pray. You have to be active. You have to be, the spirit is always there. It's always active. It's always carrying out activity. It's always doing one thing or the other. So you have to be, to, you know, be active as well. Be very sure of what you're seeing and know what to do as regards to that. Yes. Um, so, um, guys, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a very lengthy teaching. So guys do well to look out for that. Um, maybe this week by the grace of father, I'm going to be doing a teaching on this and I'm going to be giving you Bible call. You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to go through, the, we're going to go through some Bible stories, some examples together so that we can understand, um, the dream world. And then um, I want to quickly tell you a short story before I end this particular video or teaching. I used to have, I used to be this person that doesn't understand that dream is very important. You know, some people go be like, like, in some movies, they'll be like, hey, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. My dream is not just. Dreams are not just to, hey. You know I'm a Nigerian. <laughs> so when I talk, when I start bringing out this, you know, when I start talking like Nigerians, ah, dream is not just to. So if you're a white person, you're watching me, you're welcome to our world. <laughs> so, so guys, um, dream is not just, dream is not, it's just a dream. No, dream is not just, dream is very serious. Dream is very serious, guys. Be careful. It's just dreams. Dreams come true. Every single dream will come true. It all depends. Like I told you on the previous video, it all depends on what you do after dreaming. So when you have a bad dream, you know what to do. If you don't have a listen to the previous video, please go back and watch it. It is very, very important. I said some very important things on that video. You have to go back and watch that video. Very important. In fact, the basic information that are there. Go and watch it again. Don't say it's just a dream. It's not just a dream. I mean, I mean, dream is not just a dream. Is the main place is the real deal everything that is being manufactured there is what happens here on this earth so you have to be careful why do you think that spirits occupy people's bodies the spirits are looking for bodies to occupy they want to go into you to use you every single one of us have the spirit of god or the spirit of the devil in the world and in them why do you think they are seeking for bodies to occupy? Why do you think some unclean spirits keep trying to penetrate your heart, trying to come into your body, trying to take have their home in your body? It is because the body is very important to spirits. The spirit is always looking for a way to dwell. So the spirit and the spirit world is a very important place. In fact, it is more real than the world that we are seeing right now. So we have to be extremely careful. Don't say it's just a dream. Yes, it's a dream, but it's not. Dreams are not just. Dream is very important. You have to make sure that you are recalling your dreams and that you are giving it a proper interpretation. Very important. Very very important, guys. So, um. I've given you the foundation of our, of our next study. We're going to go into intense study on this particular um, topic. And we are going to be exploring some prophets, so many people who did signs and wonders via their dreams. So if you have been dreaming, you're of course um, one of us. <laughs> 
and if you if you if you if you is like if you're always dreaming every time every single time you know sometimes you it's not even a dream like it feels like as if it's a dream but it's not a dream you know, just know that you have a very special special gift you have to pray and make sure that you grow because you're going to be having a lot of lives you're going to be saving a lot of lives you're going to be having so many people become better if even if you don't know how to i mean if you can if god can use you to interpret dreams do you know how many do you know did you see the story of joseph how god used joseph dream interpretation to pharaoh to save a whole nation almost the whole world had to come to egypt in order to find something to eat imagine that is how serious we should take our dreams don't say that um it's just a dream no don't say that it's very very wrong super super wrong right so guys i hope you enjoyed this teaching i'm gonna be back i'm gonna be back i'm gonna be back and i'm gonna take us on intense teaching on dreams 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 right we're gonna be dream dreams on the full on the full motion <laughs> So guys, if you love this video, please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please, please, please. I keep begging us to please subscribe so we can grow. Please share with your loved ones. Send this to your social media pages. Let people view this. It never can tell whom you're going to be saving with these videos. You're going to be helping a lot of lives. So please do share and help them to subscribe to the channel so that we can learn and grow together. This growth is not just for one person. We are meant to grow. We are meant to grow and become better version of ourselves. So guys, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to this YouTube channel. See you soon. Thank you guys. Bye.